Good morning, guys. Happy Vlogmas Day 7. About to start work. I'm gonna try the new Aether Beauty lip product. I should show you guys what it looks like, huh? Hmm. It's got like the pointy doe foot. I'm putting on my new favorite product. I am debating whether to get a coffee or not. <sighs> There are no matcha spots that are like gonna be quick and as quick and convenient as Starbucks, which is annoying because I don't love Starbucks, but I also don't want to hit a wall and be super tired. It's only Wednesday. Let's see if Starbucks has oat milk. If they have oat milk, it's a sign. Okay, they do have oat milk. So it was a sign. I said, I commit. We're going. See, I tried something different today. That acidity is not gonna sit well in my stomach, I can already tell. Okay, I'm gonna get one of the breakfasts from that meal plan, and even though I'm not hungry, I'm gonna eat it because this on an empty stomach is not gonna be good. And guess what? Fridge is being delivered today, praise the Lord. So we'll be back to matches very soon. So this is a coconut chia pudding with some granola. It's really neutral in flavor, which I feel like is really nice this early in the morning. Cause like, I don't know what it is. I just like don't really want anything too sweet, anything too savory. So this is kind of like in between, it's really good. But I wanted to check in with you guys and see what you think about Vlogmas. Is it annoying for me to post every single day? Last year I did weekly and I feel like it was nice cause I don't post like every single week on this channel, even though I would like to. So I feel like it was like a nice balance, but now I went from like posting like once a month to posting every single day. And I think some people are like, who is this first of all? And second of all, why are you posting every single day? So I don't know, do you guys prefer every single day or would you rather it be like once a week? Let me know, cause I, I could go either way. It doesn't matter to me, um, but I just wanna make sure that it's enjoyable for you guys. And if you're like every single day, we're not watching, then I totally get it. Let me know. Um, but I'm about to start work now. So I will see you guys at lunch. All right, it's lunchtime. Let's see what we got in our little meal plan. Okay, so this is a bowl that would normally come with salmon, but they sub grilled portobello and yams. It's got a chimichurri sauce and mushrooms and roasted tomato and green beans. Yum, and rice. This is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna heat it up in the microwave so that I don't get any dishes dirty because the house is too clean right now. <laughs> All right, I love chimichurri sauce. It's like one of my favorite things in the whole world. Mm. And I love mushrooms so much. That is good. Lot is good indeed. Chimichurri tastes more like a, more like a like salad dressing almost than a normal chimichurri, but I'm not mad at it. So the fridge is supposed to be delivered today, any minute now. I'm really hoping it doesn't get delivered in my meeting, but it shouldn't because it said delivered between 11.30 and 1.30, and it's 12 right now. Fingers crossed. So I have a little bit longer on my break. I was gonna see if I had time for this later today, but I'd rather just get it done. So I'm partnering up with an amazing vegan influencer. Her name is Rachel Steenland, and together we're partnering with a vegan handbag company called Labonte London. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, but let me show you the bag. Ooh, so pretty. It's got like this little basket weave and then a gold chain. And I'll show you the inside as well. So this is the inside. It's got two pockets and then a middle zip pocket, which I love. Very easy to organize. And it also comes with a long crossbody strap if you would rather wear it like that. But I like the chain. So one of my followers on Instagram is gonna get this bag and then one of Rachel's followers is gonna get a laptop bag. And then if you follow us both, you can enter both. So yeah, super excited. So I need to take the picture for that. And I, I don't think I'm gonna wear this because it just kind of clashes. I'm thinking, thinking about doing this yellow sweater from ASOS because I like that. I like that combo a lot better. Um, 
yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I just wanna touch up my hair and makeup and I'm just gonna take them outside. So let's do it. So cute and cozy. I think I'm gonna add another, another necklace. I feel like this necklace will add a nice touch. Cute. Okay, let's refresh these bangs. See, this is like, I can do this. You know, what am I gonna do on a one hour lunch break anyways? I never took lunch breaks when I didn't have a nine to five, so. What do you guys do on your lunch breaks at work? Do you watch a show? Do you take a nap? What do you do? I'm curious, cause I feel like I could probably catch up on a show and that would be fun. Or are you naughty and you don't take a break or you work through your break cause that is not good for your mental health. So stop doing that. And I'm the pot calling the kettle black cause I used to do that all the time. But because I did that, I know it's not good for you. So don't do it. I'm just gonna make sure that this makeup looks decent enough because the focus is not my face, it's the bag, but none of my makeup matches right now because I haven't done self-tanner in a while, so it's not looking too hot. You know what usually helps when makeup's not 100? Setting spray. So this is from Hourglass. done and was actually very easy and the photos are super cute so I'm really excited about that um, but I just got a package I needed to get a few things for like office supplies I got this mouse pad I'm sorry so cute and I love the little wrist pad so this is going to be right here I still need to organize this better I think I will essentially need like nothing on this desk but my computer and mouse pad we need to get that situated um i also got these little magnetic bookmarks which i've never used before but i need something for my new planner to kind of i don't know mark pages and these actually match so well like what I don't even think I'm gonna need to use all of these, so I will definitely use them for books and stuff that I'm reading. But I think it'll be nice just to kind of like clip the month and then the week that I'm on. Okay, so it looks like that. That's actually really, really nice and helpful. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so I told you guys in, I think it was the first Vlogmas that I got a fabric shower curtain and I wasn't sure how it was gonna do because it's not weighted and it might wave in the wind and it does but then I found these weights and you just weigh the shower curtain down with them they've got like a little silicone cover so they shouldn't get like rusty or anything and I can already tell that this is gonna work like a charm so I'm very excited about that and then last I got these cord hiders that I'm gonna put on the back of the desk just to kind of like make everything look nice I just hate cords like I can't do it so all set with that. The fridge has arrived. And uh, my nice freshly cleaned floors now look like this, which sucks. Um, and our landlord so kindly downgraded us from a stainless steel, which matched our oven, to a white fridge. And if you are on TikTok, you know there's a lot of jokes about white fridges. But you know what? I'm grateful to have a fridge, so I will take it. I will take it. I'm on a break right now, so I'm going to mop this up. Archie is very disturbed. Hump day is over. And I'm really, really craving Pura Vida, which is like 
One of the best vegan restaurants in LA, period. I am no, I'm not alone on this. A lot of LA vegans will agree. Um, and I'm just like really craving some pasta and like maybe treat myself to a little app. Uh, now that we have a working fridge, I'll do one last hurrah before I go get groceries. So yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna do that. That sounds really nice and just kind of have a cozy night in maybe do a little editing, maybe watch a show. Just like feeling like I'm kind of getting my bearings on everything and I don't feel like super overwhelmed or stressed. I, I know that like whenever you start a new job, so much of it is just like, it's information overload and then it's putting yourself in the situation and having the actual things happen that kind of like helps you learn the best especially for me, that's how I learned the best. So I know that like right now is just kind of like the information overload part. And I know once I put it into action, it's gonna be like, no problem. The best little coworkers in the whole world. Yes, you are. Are you the best coworker? Are you the best? You are. All right, food just got here. So I love the puttanesca from Pura Vida. It's so good and it's just very simple. It's like a marinara with olives and capers and red chili flakes and it's just amazing so i'm gonna eat this on the couch get all cozy and maybe see what i can find on netflix okay i'm thinking christmas movies so single all the way okay this one actually got 75 percent on rotten tomatoes so we're gonna do it and i will report back 